Hey everybody, what's up? This is Devin Lavore and Michelle Lavore coming Devin at you. <laughs> and we definitely have a word from the Lord today that is super uncomfortable. So prepare yourself. It was yeah. uncomfortable for us. Yeah. And let me tell you why. In times past, I have gotten, we've gotten, yeah. since April actually, we've, or even before that, yeah. we've been getting words like, it's a time, oh, this, time to do this. It's time for that. It's time for that. It's time for that. It's time for that. And they hadn't come to pass. Yeah. And then God gave me this revelation where I was like, Lord, why do you keep saying it's a time to do something, but then that time doesn't happen? Yeah. And um, and he was saying, like, it's basically, I'm taking, I'm showing you all the things that I'm doing right now. It's time for me to do this, and it's time for me to do this. And it's like forming like a baby formed in a womb. Oh, it's time for the bones. Oh, it's time for the muscle. Oh, it's time for the lungs. Oh, it's time for... The... But you don't necessarily see it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well... <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well... <laughs> well, and, and, and I made a video on that already. And so we've been kind of like... And I haven't got a it's time to word... For a, for a while. In a while, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like... Which is good because it showed, it showed me that I wasn't really trying to make that stuff up. Yeah. Or coming out of desperation or anything. It's just what I felt like the Lord said, and I, I shared it. You know, you always take a risk hearing from the Lord and then sharing what you hear, and that's okay because either you're wrong or right, and you can learn either way. Yeah. You know, you can grow either way. If you're wrong, you're going to grow. If you're right, you're going to grow. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't matter because that's how the mercy and grace of God works. And so today I got the word, and I tell you what, let me tell you the process. been burned a lot by... The prophetic just in yeah. this past since march it's just been yeah. a it's been a kind of a burning process i'm just like man like i didn't expect it to be like this yeah you know but it's like we just keep going we keep moving forward so to speak and so i was like it's uh it is time for repayment and i told no one because it's like we've had We've had that too many times before, a time to inherit, a time to be born, a time to move. We got that on April 10th, yeah. a time to move. And it's like, it is time to move, you know, it is, the time is now to move. And it's like, okay, Lord, what I'm thinking now, I'm thinking like right now. Yeah. And, and, and when, a lot of times I think when the Lord is thinking like right now, he's thinking it's the season or something. I don't know. Yeah. But it's like, I think that's kind of one of the. Uh, the, the tensions of hearing from the Lord and thinking you're getting a word from the Lord and it doesn't happen and all that. Yeah. But I got it and I was like, and I was in the kitchen and I was just leaning over, the, just kind of like this, because there's a table here. You know, you, you hear that all the time in our videos, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm leaning on the uh, counter and I'm going, Lord, I really feel like this is you. I can't with a clean conscience say, I don't think that's the Lord. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I really feel like this is you. And it's like, here you go again with this, it's time to re repay. That's like, that's an amazing word. Yeah. How can my heart not like that? Yeah. How can I not want to respond to that? It's mm -hmm. like, well, that would be amazing. But man, I was just like, I know this is really not the normal way of our relationship, but I'm going to have to ask you for a confirmation. I feel bad even asking you because I normally don't, yeah. you know, but it's like, We've been burned too much yeah. in this. I, I'm very, I'm not quite like Thomas needing to put my hand in your, but I'm, I'm pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the edge of the same zip code. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I need some, some help here, you know? Yeah. Because even, so when Devin did, he was like, okay, I, I got a, I'm pretty sure I got a word from the Lord. And he's, <laughs> he told me and he was like, I feel like God is saying time to repay. And like. Even me, I was just like, mm. You could tell. As soon as I told yeah. you, she was like, <laughs> I was this like is what her, her heart was like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. And it's you know? for all the same reasons. You yeah. Know, because and even as I was giving the word, I was like, uh, Like, uh, I don't know about this. Because my heart was being, it was trying to press through the disappointment. Yeah. And, and I was right there. It's yeah. like, it, for me, it was just like, Okay, that's great. It sounds wonderful and awesome. But I don't believe it. But, <laughs> you know, it's just like, okay, well, when we see it, then I'll believe it. Yeah, but basically, yeah. and and just like, it's like, and then what are all the implications of that? Especially since the last time we got all the time to stuff, None that was happened. in April. Yeah. We are in 
the end of September. And I'm like, yeah, so what are you saying, God? It's it's time to repay. Is that going to take another, like, five, six, seven months? Like, yeah. I don't even know. So it was very much like my heart is just like, mm, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll just, I'll hear you, but I really, I'm going to... Stop yeah, and then there. when she went, honestly, my my initial reaction to that was like, I was really frustrated. I was like, ah, And I was like, and, and then I, I just was like, okay, I'm going to be still. Like, Lord, what's going on? And the reason why I was frustrated is because I, re just because my wife was not confirming it, it still, in fact, it made it grow even more. Mm -hmm. It made it be like, no, it is time to repay. And I'm like, okay. It's time to be born. It's time to recover. It's time to inherit. It's time to... And God showed me. He's like, all those things are just forming. So I'm telling you, like, when it comes to pass, when it happens, boom, like that, and you take that step from night to day, boom, it's going to be like recovery, repayment. You know, yeah, you're going to be inherit. born into the uh, the promised land. You're going to... Mm -hmm. These are the things that is going to happen. And it's time... I'm working on that now. I'm mm -hmm. doing that now. It's time for me to do that now. And I'm telling you what's coming. And I'm like, well, it's very confusing, yeah. you know, it's like, and it's like, but whatever, you know, and it's like, I'm not going to trust in the promise. I'm going to trust in the promiser Yeah. because you know what you're talking about, even when I have no clue yeah. and I think I do and all that. Right. And, but I was just like, Lord, I really, it would be so awesome to just get a confirmation on that because you know how much we've been burned by that. with just the confusion and just the whole prophetic realm. And so I, I just let it go. Yeah. You know, and we did God time, and we're doing worship, and it's like, okay, well, let's let's read the Bible. We, and we finished the Action Bible, which was like this huge thing for the kids. Yeah, yeah. they did a little celebration yeah, dance and yeah. everything. They were so excited. Got their shout on. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're, we're just reading through the, the Bible, and yeah. so that they can really see the stories, not just in picture form. Yeah, and so, the Action Bible leaves out a lot. Yeah, so we earlier. just we asked him, we were asking him, hey, what what are you interested in? We'll start reading those stories, and yeah. so Annalise said she wanted to read about Ruth, and so that's where we started mm -hmm. yesterday. And, and Aliyah was like, I want to read about Jonah, and, and Joe, Joe said, was like, I want to read about Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, mine was I want to read Revelation. So we've got we've got our work cut out. For yeah, us for we got a while. we got another we got, <laughs> we got four courses going on here. So we got into the Book of Ruth, and they were really getting into it. I felt like they were getting into yeah. it even more than the Action Bible because mm -hmm. it's telling you the actual story yeah. that happened. And then so so um, as we're reading it, you know, I'm not thinking about confirmation. I'm not thinking about repayment. I'm not thinking about any of that, but. As we're reading it, you know, Ruth says to Naomi, your people shall be my people and your God, my God. And I was telling the kids, I was like, right there, that would be like considered a, a salvation yeah. moment. Yeah. You know, it's like confessing that uh, Jesus is my savior. It's the same exact kind of thing. Yeah. You know, and it's like, that is when God was like, whoa, I see it. I receive it. Yeah. And I take it. And then, and then basically Ruth decided to start working for to provide for Naomi because yeah. Naomi had been through so much and they've been through so much yeah. death and loss and famine. And it's just like, man, how, and to the degree where Naomi was convinced that God was against her and yeah. judging and, her and changed her name. Yeah. Changed her name. And, um, and so it was like, when I saw the Boaz thing happening here, I was like, oh my gosh, that is favor. That is a favor moment right there. Not only was it a favor moment, but, um, it says, then she, Ruth, fell on her face, bowing to the ground, and said to him, Why have I found favor in your eyes that you should notice me when I am a foreigner? And she was talking to Boaz, because Boaz basically was coming to her and noticed her and and uh, basically made a covenant with her. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to use my power to protect you and provide for you. You know, ancient theologians say those are the the three P's of covenant, you know. And I was like, wow, he's really, like, why would he do that? And it's like, his response is, and Boaz said to her, I have, made, I have been made fully aware of all you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband. So, 
he he had been made aware, and right away, I mean, enter like I knew the Lord was trying to speak to me about like, ooh, that's a favor moment right there. Mm -hmm. It's favor, and God was just like, hmm, favor. Favor, you know, yeah, <laughs> he was just messing with me, and I was like, well, Would you just get to the point, you know? <laughs> and uh, but I mean, I don't really, I mean, I do get like that with the Lord, but there's still like a sense of humor in it, yeah, between me and him. He knows me, we have a great relationship, and then and so and so right there, right there in, in Boaz's statement, because I knew I was like, Boaz is the Jesus in this. Yeah in this analogy, in this prophetic pattern, mm -hmm. you know? And Boaz said to her, I have been made fully aware of all you have done. Right there, that really jumped out at me. And the yeah. Lord was like, hmm, right there. I have been made fully aware of all you've done. That's why I've opened the books of remembrance. Yeah. And last night I was thinking about that. I was like, Lord, I, I don't know that I've really done anything to deserve like a recompense. I mean, I was thinking about that last night. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I mean, this is the Lord. I was thinking about it last night, not knowing, I mean, th today hadn't happened yet, obviously, yeah. <laughs> you know? And I was thinking about that and I was like, I don't know that I've done anything to really get a recompense, like a repayment of some sort, because what have I done? And the Lord was like, it's almost like he kind of looked at me. He was like, you haven't done anything? I was like, what do you mean? You, it was just a sense of like, oh, you, you haven't done anything, huh? And I felt like the Lord was like, okay, well, let me, like, because I'm thinking like career-wise, all that. I, I just wrote my books. Like, I started writing my books, which I felt like is why, you know, you transitioned me into doing my books and all that. And it was great. But I haven't gotten anything from them. I mean, it, it hasn't, it's been dead in the water. Yeah. You know, and it's like, that, that hasn't happened. So much hasn't happened. So much death and loss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hello, Ruth. Mm -hmm. And it's like so much of it. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, but I'm still going after the Lord because he is my God. And his people are my people and all that. Yeah. Right. And the Lord was like, okay, I, I hear you. Just let me decide what you've done and what kind of recompense yeah. should come from that and all that. And that was last night. And then this morning I wake up with the repayment. And then as I'm reading through, as I, hold on. Come here, buddy. Because, you know, everybody wants to see you. Mm -hmm. So as I'm reading through the um, Ruth here, not thinking about the whole Lord, uh, give me a confirmation, blah, blah, blah. And that stuck out to me. Like, I have been made fully aware of all you have done for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to put a price on that. I'm going to put a reward on that. And then I told the Lord, I was like, well, Lord, you just, you put the reward on it. You, you put the price on it. You, you, you reward me according to your definition of reward and recompense, not mine. Yeah. You know, because mine can just be a house and a cool car. And I'd be like, awesome. And God's like, that's it. That's all you want. <laughs> yeah. And then so, um, and then in verse 12, it says, Boaz goes on to say, the Lord recompense you for what you have done and a full reward be given to you by the Lord. Boaz is like, not by me. I'm praying blessing over you. Here he has made a covenant with this lady and she doesn't, probably doesn't even know what he's doing. Yeah. And now he's praying a blessing over her. Mm -hmm. Wow. What an amazing thing going on here. And a full reward be given to you by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. Mm -hmm. And then she goes on to say, let me, and right there, I was like, wow. I mean, what did I say, babe? I said, I was like, I think I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm and done. And you're like, I can't, I'm done. can't read anymore. <laughs> I can't resist. I was like, we're done, kids. We're done. Because right there, I was like, the, it was like, the Lord was making me like say, that I'm saying this. Yeah. I am saying this. It's like him, you know. I've thought I've thought about him like the entire time he's been born and before he was born, because the Lord said he was a sign of what he was getting ready to do birth in my life. Yeah. And I'm like, he just turned eleven weeks, and I'm like, Lord, so when do you plan on birthing the thing? Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's eleven weeks now. He's supposed to be a sign, and and I remember the in the scripture it says before he can say mama and dada or something like yeah. that then this is gonna happen and i'm like okay well he's really talking early hopefully you know yeah. <laughs> he really is he, he is, is so he, super he advanced and everything but but i really felt like the lord was like 
that, it's like that was the confirmation. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even know how God would confirm such a word as that. And he was like, that's the confirmation. And I was like, okay. I was like, I mean, I was blown away. Yeah. Not only that, but your turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've been hearing me talk forever now. Yeah, well, and actually that was when we were doing worship and you had talked about repayment. I actually asked Devin, I was like, well, is re repayment, does that mean redeemed? Because I was actually already mm -hmm. thinking about the Ruth story. And recompense. And recompense. Yeah. And, and you were like, yeah, it just, you know, it's a recompense. It's, you know, you're redeeming. And so, but that's all I said. I didn't really say anything mm -hmm. more. I didn't say I was thinking about Ruth or anything like that. Yeah. And, um. <laughs> <laughs> so. And God so. Was working things. Yeah. And, and, and for me, I was just going through the whole story of Ruth. And it's just like. Wow, she she lost her husband, and basically so much loss. She, there was just devastation. And so then, much hope and expectation when you get married. Yeah, when you you, you know, know you want to have kids, and, kids wanna, and and live and this Orpah life. And Orpah and Ruth, they lost their husbands, but Naomi lost her boys. Yeah, you know, and it's, her husband. It's just like dang. And again, it reminded me of when I read it yesterday. It reminded me, I was, I was like, this is the setup. Yeah, kind of like yeah, that day did, that, that that day that I uh, that like, that Meet the Browns kept yeah, going through like, my head. I was like, this is the setup. setup. It's like the quickest part of the story. Yeah, you know, it's it's showing you where they're getting ready to come out of, and I was like, wow, that's a that's a harsh setup. You know, it's like may the Lord reward you according to what you've been through. You know yeah. what I mean. And double for your trouble. That's a that's a that's a catchphrase um, yeah. going on right now. And um, <laughs> but it was just I think. Like, it, as you read the story, then she ends up marrying Boaz, and they mm -hmm. have a, a baby. And it was just like, wow, God gave her just the desires of her heart, and she ended up marrying, like, an extremely wealthy man mm -hmm. in the land. And not only that, it what really struck me, though, was, like, because she followed the Lord and really following yeah. Na Na Naomi, you know, back to Bethlehem in that area... And she just said yes to God. Yes. He then not only provided the desires of her heart, but he put her in the lineage of Christ. Right. Like, which was just like, Obed, wow. Jesse, David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was just, I think for me, it really hit like, you know what? God is, he's not just here to give us the desires of our heart, but just that it's like, He's like, I have so much more. Like In giving us the desires, desires of, of our, our heart, heart, there's something amazing that comes out yeah. of it. You know? Just because you say yes to God. That's why God. you don't want to settle for just what you want. Yeah. And pull God's arm to give you what you want. The Israelites coming out of Egypt showed what God thought about that. Yeah. And he's like, fine, I'll just give you a little temporary thing right now. It means nothing. It has yeah. no generational value. It's just going to feed you for right now and that's it. Yeah. That's what you want? Mm -hmm. No, that's not what we want. That's not what uh, those of us who are on the yellow brick road of yeah. the kingdom, we're not going for that. We're going for the city of God, and we want to be empowered to uh, um, bring other people to that city. You know, mm -hmm. we, we want to have whatever we need to, yeah. to do that. But it's like in the midst of that, how amazing it is that God's like, I'm going to bless you. It's like, I'm. Listen, I'm a good, good father, as Chris Tomlin has declared. <laughs> <laughs> but he is. He's a good father, and he's going to take care of his own first. Yeah. That's why judgment comes to the house of God first. He's like, he's like first off, God's not going to tell you to do something that he's not going to do. And yeah. it's like, if his house is not in order, he's not going to try and go and bring other people into his house. Yeah. You know, I mean, even though he does, he's out there trying to reach people. But it's like... Like, look, the house is, is messed up. I need to I need to take care of my house first. Yeah. Not only that, but it's like, okay, before I go and bless the nations, I gotta bless my people. Yeah. So that my people can be a light to the nations and they will just come to you. Yeah. You know? Because they'll see something about you. They'll see something about your life and everything that you do, like the Queen of Sheba with Solomon, they'll see something that's like, wow, you're different. Because she was wealthy, he was wealthy, but she was like, wow, you are so different because you have the the wisdom of God. Yeah. You're not you're not poor with the wisdom of God. You're wealthy and you have the wisdom of God. Dang. This is not a, I'm not trying to get you to pursue wealth, you know, because the Bible says don't do that. But I'm just saying, like, we need to have everything that we need to do what God wants us to do, and he wants to give us that. Yeah. 
you know, the Lord hooked her up with a man of wealth because that's what she needed. Yeah. Her and her and her mother-in-law Naomi were poor. Yeah. Like super poor. They yeah. needed a breakthrough. They needed a blessing. They needed a favor of the Lord. And God was like, right when she said, your God will be my God, God was like, gotcha. Mm -hmm. You're mine. I'm going to make a covenant with you. And I'm going to send someone into your life who's going to represent that to you. Yeah. That right away, I mean, she right away when he saw her, he was like, hey, I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to protect you with my power. Yeah. And I got a lot of it. You know, yeah. and you're going to come sit with me. And it goes on to say, hey, come sit with me at the table. She was the only gleaner at that table. Yeah. I guarantee you. Because she was like, why are you treating me like I'm not a maidservant? Because yeah. you're not. Yeah. And it's like, what you did for one of my people, you're acting like you're my people anyway. Yeah. So you should just come and hang and chill with me. Because God put it on his heart. Even whether Boaz even knew it or not. Yeah. God just put it on his heart to take care of her. Yeah. You know? So it's like... How will that work out in our lives? It doesn't even matter. Yeah. It's just the bottom line is God saying, it's time to repay. Yeah. You know, and it's going to work out differently. And one of the things that I noticed, are you okay to? Mm -hmm. One of the things that I noticed about, I gave a vision about Jesus being in the wilderness and a bunch of people just running around him to the degree where it got blurry and there was this whirlwind of people whose lives revolved around him and he would reach out his hand. It's like, because we gave the word yesterday that a lot of us were coming into the breakthrough at the same time, like but, the same but it was like the same season. Yeah. Because when we when we came into the banquet, there was already a lot of people already there, and so, and I felt like the Lord was showing me like, hey, it is a, like a seasonal thing because when He reached out His hand to the whirlwind and shot people this way, it was it was just He just kept doing it over and over and over again, and people were shooting off all over the place yeah. in all different directions, and so it's like. But it was Meaning, like a one at a time, like, it was mm -hmm. like, all right, you go, now you go, you go, yeah. you go. <laughs> and it's like, like, meaning like, it's going to be different for every person that God yeah. touches, but it's like, God has that for you. He has that favor for you. Mm -hmm. He has that appointment with yeah. the man of oh, God or whatever it is, that appointment for you. So God could be doing that. God could just, I'm just saying God could do anything, any way, any way he wants to. And we're, we're just not going to limit him. Yeah. And if God's saying it's time to repay, then it's time to repay. Well, how long is that going to take? Who cares? If it's the Lord, it's the Lord. I mean, if the, if the end of the year comes and none of these things happen, then then I will just, I'm going to, that's what I told my wife. There's certain promises that if they don't happen, I'm not going to just continue to believe them. Yeah. You know, but it's like I said that about the whole late winter thing from Jeremiah and it totally happened this year yeah and I was like the whole the blossoming the the promise blossoming and that's what started this whole journey yeah and I'm just like wow it's like so these these things are gonna happen you know and for me the blessing the promise that I'm saying that I won't believe anymore is like things happening in one day because that Isaiah 66 7 through 9 felt like the Lord gave that to me like when the promise comes to pass this is what it's gonna be like it's gonna happen like in one day in mm -hmm. one day, boom. And again, I mean, we just gave a vision yesterday that God gave me about stepping from night, night to, day. to day. Boom. Yeah. Suddenly. One day. In one moment. Joseph was elevated in one day, but really it was just one moment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Daniel, given him that interpretation in Nebuchadnezzar, that happened in a moment. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it was on a specific day, but anyway, so we hope you guys got something out of that. I know yeah. I did most of the talking, <laughs> but... Um, but uh, I really felt like the Lord said that, and we tested the word. I mean, we we both were like, no. I was like, oh, I don't know. Michelle was like, no. Yeah. Unless I put my hand in his side. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the bottom line is God came through, and he gave us a confirmation of, like, wow. Like, this is really the Lord. And it's like the confirmation just has to ring true with what's really going mm -hmm. on in your spirit. Yeah. If it's not the Lord, we, we wouldn't even be sharing it right yeah. now. You know, we would have already known, you know, just because that's the way the Lord works and it takes practice. But, man, I hope that's blessed you guys yeah. today to know that, man, we felt like the Lord was saying to us, it's time for repayment. So if that resonates with you, then, man, just press into it. Take it to yeah. the Lord and be like, Lord, is this for me? I really want you to confirm it for me as well. And, you know, because yeah. not everything you see on YouTube is for you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> but... Anyway, so be blessed, guys, yeah. and we will see you 
next video. Bye. Bye-bye.